siang Bapak Ibu semuanya. Terima kasih untuk tetap bersama kami. Kita akan melanjutkan um, acara virtual activation ini untuk satu jam ke depan. Sudah ada speaker kita dari Mr. Hakan Celik dari Microport. Good morning Mr. Celik, your local time. Good morning, good afternoon, thank you very much. Yes, thank you so much for joining with us. Uh, your time for presentation is one hour. Okay. Dan um, kita juga mau menyapa Pak Okta Maranata Saputra, Pak, dari Halo, perwakilan Bu. Indonesia ya, Pak? Ya, betul. Kami distributornya dari PT Zeva, Bu. Oke, okay, selamat datang Pak Okta. Terima kasih atas waktunya. Mr. Celik, please uh, yeah, deliver please. your presentation. Okay, let me share my screen first. Second. Are you able to see now? Not yet, Mr. Celik. How about now? Yes, already. Okay, one second. <clears throat> uh, hello, everyone. First of all, uh, thank you very much for your time, which you are going to share with me today. My name is Hakan Çelik. Uh, I'm the mechanical engineer and I'm the area manager of Microport for Asia Market. Uh, actually, this is my second time uh, to attending of this exciting show. Uh, actually, I was willing to be present in Indonesia uh, to be with you, but due to recent condition, it was not possible. Uh, let's hope for the best for the next year's show. Uh, I hope we will be together uh, next year. Uh, during this presentation, I am going to explain the, how important the indoor air quality for our uh, human body. <clears throat> But previously, I am going to explain uh, who is Micropore and what we are doing. Uh, Micropore is the uh, one of the biggest company in the world for the compressed uh, sorry so filtration business, mainly on the HVAC filtration and the compressed air filtration business. We have 2006 factory in Turkey, in Ankara. Uh, we have one company in the USA, Micropore USA. We have one company in the Belgium. As you can see, there are some pictures from the this slide. Uh, this, this, this one and this one is from Turkey. Total are six factories. One picture from the, our USA office. We have the warehouse over there. It's around 40,000 square meter area, closed area. Uh, we have a company in the Belgium, uh, which is the dry tech company located in the Belgium, located in uh, Europe. Uh, under the Micropore roof, we have approximately 800 employees. Uh, out of this 800, uh, 160 to 150 of them is the white color. And let me show you some pictures from our production. This is our production line for compressed air dryers. We are producing around 20,000 units of the refrigerant type dryer uh, annually. This is our test bench for the HEPA Ulpa class filter test certificates, uh, EN1822 test bench. Uh, each and every HEPA or Ulpa class filters, which has been produced under the Micropore roof, uh, are being testing in this machine. And we are giving the identical uh, test certificate for each and, HEPA, each and every HEPA class filters. This is the uh, production line of the high capacity V-box type uh, filter. It's going on by the robotic arms. There are another picture of the regular V-bank filter, which is going on by the robotic arms. The now sealing process is going on. The welding process is also going on by the robotic arms. And most of the production lines is handling by the robotic arms in order to ensure the Uh, quality and the leakage freeness for the HVAC filtration mostly. Uh, those are our customers. They are very well known companies. For example, Ingea Sorant, Salair, Buge, Dusan Bubket, or uh, Dalgakran. They are very well known in compressor business. And for example, for the gas turbine, we are working with the GE and the Siemens directly, as well as Paist, we are working with them. Uh, for the HVAC filtration, Uh, like automotive industry, we are working with Mercedes-Benz, Toyota, uh, Volkswagen, even with uh, even with Tesla, we are working with them. They are buying the uh, paint boot filters from Micropore. Uh, for the pharmaceutical, we are working with Sanofi, Sanovel, Pfizer, 
uh, as well as Glasgow Smith Klein, the very well known companies in this business. With the strength of our product uh, capability and our quality, uh, we are exporting our products to 147 countries. 147 countries, and almost we are everywhere in the world, including in Indonesia also. In Indonesia, we are working with the, with the PT Zefa, Valindo Jaya. Uh, Mr. Okta, uh, sales manager, is also here with us. So uh, the, that was all regarding Micropore. Now I'm going to start to explain the, how important the indoor air quality for our human body. Let's check together. The, actually, besides that, the importance level of the hygiene and the social distancing in our daily routines, uh, this pandemic has showed us the uh, importance level of the air quality, in fact. Uh, another unfortunate thing uh, is we were not giving the enough importance level to the air we breathe, uh, or we didn't know how to treat the air to make it more breathable. Actually, in our today's modern world, uh, polluted air causes, causes uh, so many disorders or diseases as the result of the civilization. Uh, according to the WHO, World Health Organization, uh, air pollution is the reason of the 7 million premature deaths annually. So annually, 7 million people is dying due to air pollution worldwide. So without any uh, doubt, uh, there is a clear uh, example of the cause and effect. As much as, much as uh, we are polluting the air, the, our lifetime is going to be shorter and shorter. Actually, I'm not planning to give you uh, bad news only or show you the worst scenario during this presentation. Uh, there is a solution. Oh, actually, there was always a solution for to uh, make it the air more breathable. I'm hoping to convince you to uh, understand how important the air uh, for your life. So let's start uh, about how we are classifying the particles uh, and which are the which are the, them is the dangerous for us. If we are going to the deeper of the pollution, there are really serious pollution. And there are lots of them in our environment. Air pollution related research are showed us the which particle size are more dangerous. Uh, now we are classifying uh, these particles in three major range, uh, like smaller than 10 micron, smaller than 2.5 micron, and smaller than one micron particles. According to the particle size, uh, below than 10 micron uh, particles are uh, breathable, and, but above of them is not that much dangerous as we can catch those particles by our nose or by our throat, uh, and we can discharge them easily. Actually, danger level is rising while we are going to uh, smaller particles. For example, lower than 2.5 micron uh, particles are moving to, to the lungs easily and blocks the alveoles, and it decreases the capacity of the lungs. Uh, we have to keep in our mind always the cleaning system of our lungs are not that much effective like nose or like thread, throat. Uh, it's not efficient like that. And because uh, those, the lungs are not designed to catch the particles actually. Uh, those are designed to uh, get only clean and fresh air. Actually, below, even below than the 2.5, there are more dangerous particles uh, than the, those. The smaller than the one micron particles, the particles smaller than one micron uh, can be penetrated inside the veins, even can be mixed with the blood immediately. Uh, there's no chance to catch them with our nose, even with the lungs. Even those can be uh, pass by directly from the throat to the blood, and it can be accumulated in our body. And of course, it will uh, cause for the serious illnesses. I have found this impressive uh, comparison of the different size of the particles, and I wanted to share with you in order to make you more clear about the uh, particles, and small particles. As you can see, human hair, uh, which is our visual limits to see it clearly, 
It has diameter of 50 to 180 micrometers. Uh, white blood cell has 25 micron. Red blood cell has 7 to 8 micron. Uh, actually, starting from here, uh, starting from the red blood cell, each and every particle smaller than that can be impregnated inside the veins, inside the blood, and it's even sometimes inside the blood cell, it can be impregnated, it can be mixed. Uh, definitely, it's causing the serious illnesses also. So, pollution, to be honest, is the biggest killer in the modern developing world. According to the World Health Organization, especially air pollution is taking lives uh, more than 10 million people each year, as like I explained. Picture on the right side shows us the sources of the pollution. In the current times of our modern world, all of those uh, sources are became to seen as a regular standard thing, and we are not considering these uh, sources as a dangerous for us. But the particles generated from these sources are causes the disease, uh, which has been left, uh, which has been listed on the left side, and the rates actually are not low since we are talking about 7 million deaths. Also related uh, with the particle pollution, microorganisms can be sprayed in aerosols, uh, dust or liquids. Uh, such infected aerosols may stay hold in the air flows long enough to travel considerable uh, distances, very high distances. As an example, uh, sneeze can easily transfer infectious droplets to uh, the full length of the abyss. There is a vision on the right side, which is based on the CFM analysis of the sneeze. As you can see, particles generated, uh, by, particles generated by the sneeze can travel more than 10 meters easily. You may wonder about the, which type of disease can be trans transmitted by the breath. Uh, that's on the left side. In fact, uh, almost all of the disease can be transmitted by the air. As you can see on the left, it can it includes the coronavirus, norovirus also. There is a short video I would like to show you. Uh, it has been taken from the BBC. It was made by the science editor of the BBC, Mr. David Schuchman. I don't know if it will start or not. Are you able to see? Uh, we cannot see. Okay, then. No problem. In fact, the main thing on the video uh, was the one comment uh, which they are saying that the air pollution uh, in the London is causing the premature deaths about six months. So the lifetime of the London people is decreasing around six months. Uh, so it's a not short uh, while for the human lifetime. Even this is happening in the middle of the Euro, uh, where we are considering the relatively clean air is there. Also, beside the beside then the particle freeness, uh, that's also important. The considered microorganisms, which are mostly traveling by those particles. Another fact uh, which COVID nineteen has made us realized is the viruses doesn't choose the nation, age, wealth, or poverty. Uh, their only duty is the invading and in fact they are doing so during the fight against the COVID, COVID or any other contagious disease we have to block the base of the contamination actually or transmission so if we are talking about the in their indoor air quality that is the most important thing as we are spending 90 percent of our lifetimes in the indoor areas Actually, most of the people think that the indoor air is cleaner than the outdoor uh, due to there is no any cars, there is no any airplanes or factories inside the indoor areas like the outside. But the real fact is the uh, best air quality which we can achieve in the indoor area can
cannot be better than the outdoor area as we are feeding the indoor from the outdoor air. <coughs> Let's check the pollutants inside the houses, inside of our houses. You came to your room, you came to your home, and you have opened the AC, air conditioner. And actually, AC start to pollute the air due to it's catching the particles, it's accumulating the, those particles inside its body. And those particles, uh, after some time of use, they are spewing out from the ACs. Uh, the it's generating remarkably high amount of the particles as it's accumulating. You went to your bedroom and molds or needles are there. You have even walked on your carpet and from your each step you are raising the particles from the your carpet or your from from your floor. There can be actually dozens of the examples for uh, the pollutant inside the houses like uh, this. Uh, apart from particles, we have to be careful about the VOC as well, which is the volatile organic compound, like benzene, like uh, wall paint, which is generated by the wall paint, uh, or nail polishes or any cleaning detergent, cleaning uh, liquids. That's also uh, important for human body. Actually, there are some methods to thread your indoor air in terms of the heating or cooling, uh, like fire cooling, <coughs> sorry, like fan cooling units or air handling units. Let's check their working principle. Uh, you may know that the fan coils are uh, working similarly like the split type ACs, and, uh, but the difference is they are mostly the centralized systems. And as they are using the centralized systems with the chiller system and they are cooling the uh, air by the chilled water, it's more effective in terms of the energy efficiency. But in terms of the uh, filtration, as there is no any filtration, there is no effectiveness on the uh, particle base. As also it's not cleaning the air and it's circulating, there is no chance to uh, use this kind of machines during the contagion. So whenever you are starting to use the fan units, you are spreading each and every particles to everybody in the room, and every part in the room. Let's check the air handling units working principle from this diagram. Uh, the main unit is sucking the air from the outside <clears throat> and it's blowing inside the room, inside the working areas after some stage of uh, process like heating or cooling, and uh, sometimes with the filtration process, and it's blowing the air uh, to the room. Uh, but because of the energy saving concern, the air AHUs, air handling units are designed to use uh, 8 to 20 proportional air for to soft supply or supplying, which means uh, the air handling unit is sucking around 20% of uh, fresh air from the outside and they are circulating, those machines are circulating the 80% of total uh, air from the inside room. In this step, we cannot consider the circulation uh, air can be clean from particles or uh, microorganisms as these systems are not designed to have uh, HEPA filters or existing system, systems doesn't have the HEPA class filters due to their fan capacity or uh, for cost concern. So in short, uh, these systems are not uh, the right way to block the contagion, uh, most for, mostly from the, during the COVID. So let's talk about the, uh, what the authorities say. There are some non-profit organization in the world, which you are also familiar with their names, like ESHRI, ISO, ISO, the REHWA, ISHRI or Eurovent. They actually, the HVAC industry uh, was previously regulated by the manufacturers of the HVAC equipment. But now, as you are know, as you are also familiar, the standards are publishing by these authorities, and we are also following them. Uh, as per these authorities, during the pandemic situation, there is no any chance to use any air, uh, sorry, air handling unit if they are not working on 100% fresh air or with the HEPA filtration, or uh, it's not possible to use the fan coil units 
it's not possible to use even the split type air conditioners as those are very much dangerous. Uh, there are some declarations which has been published by these authorities. Uh, heat, according to them, heat away from the contagion is the uh, air purifiers. For example, as per, as per Ashley, if the existing treated treatment system, uh, air treatment system is not applicable to operate with 100% fresh air, it's a must to use the air purifiers on the indoor area and to reduce the this level of the contamination. As per the same declaration, uh, filtration efficiency class of the air purifiers have to be uh, HEPA class filters or uh, high MERV classes, they are saying. REHVA's declaration, the European organization REHVA, uh, their declaration is also supporting the ESHRI. Uh, they are saying that the uh, in the contagious, in the COVID uh, situation, you can use the air purifiers, but most importantly, air purifiers have to have minimum H13 class HEPA filters. And also, they are making an additional additional comment as the most of the attractive priced air purifiers are not uh, having the HEPA class filtration, or even they are not having the good class of the filtration. Also, the Munich University has been published an article and. Uh, they are saying that the air exchange rate of the any air purifier has to be between four to eight times. So if you are using an air purifier, it has to circulate the air in one hour, it has to be around 48 times. So that's clearly mentioned by Rehba, each and every air purifier is not effective against the virus contamination, virus contamination. And to be honest, uh, while we are designing our own air purifier, we were very much surprised to see that the new terminology, like real HEPA or HEPA type filters, they were saying that the uh, air purifier manufacturers. As Micropore, uh, we were always producing HEPA filters for dozens of years. And HEPA filter was always HEPA for us. It was HEPA, there was no any differences. Uh, actually, why while the air purifiers became popular in the market and people are interested to buy air purifiers. The air purifier manufacturer has started to declare that their filters are uh, HEPA type filters. Uh, then after them, we came to know that the, they are saying that their filters HEPA as they are using the same method of the pleating. Only just for pleating is same. They are saying that the, their uh, filters are HEPA type. To be honest, we want to learn and wanted to uh, test the others' filters, the other manufacturers' filters. And as per the testing of these filters, we have seen that their uh, filters barely can reach the fine class filters. Okay, like uh, mostly F7, sometimes F8, uh, and barely and very rarely F9 class filters they are providing. Actually, which is not effective. Uh, for to catch the very fine particles, even I'm not considering the microorganisms, which are smaller than the very fine particles. So uh, the same declarations are also guiding us about the uh, like other specifications like air circulation rate, efficiency classes or filtration types. Uh, actually is suggesting to have the air profile capacity uh, as minimum 150 cubic meter per hour per person. Uh, for example, if you are uh, in the same room, if you are uh, four person, it has to be the air profiles capacity has to be minimum 600 cubic meter per hour. And the, as per actually, the air exchange rate has to be minimum six during the COVID. And REHVA is strictly suggesting to use the minimum age 13 class HEPA filters in order to fight with the COVID. So those are the declarations from the authorities. Let me introduce you MIA series air purifiers, which has the HEPA filters, HEPA class filters, uh, same as we already used to, with the highest capacity to clean the bigger rooms up to 100 square meter. Equipped with the highly efficient sensors in order to detect the particles and protect your breath. 
with some other pluses like uh, remote controlling, online monitoring of uh, air quality, etc. Let's check the important specifications together. As like I said, uh, the MIA Air has equipped with the H13 class real HEPA filter with the special antimic coating. Uh, it has the 900 cubic meter per hour fan capacity. We have used activated carbon filter, pellet type, granule type activated carbon filter as a pre-filter in order to catch the particles, reduce to remove the particle uh, VOCs from the air. We have placed touch screen LCD panel on the main body. On the LCD panel, you are able to check the every condition like uh, real-time air quality indicator from that. From this indicator, you are able to get the information of the air pollution uh, on PM level, PM base, particle matter base, or VOC base, you are able to see. You can intervent the machine uh, by the changing the operation modes, like manual mode, auto mode, uh, silent, or turbo mode. Uh, we have the NIA air quality detection systems uh, equipped with the sensors, special sensors for the particles for VOC or for the temperature. We have used ozone-free high-impact polystyrene material on this machine, on this uh, NIA air profile, in order to make it more strength against, against the, any impact or any stretch Again, like that. Actually, this is an IoT device, as you can control this machine from uh, any mobile or from any other machine. You can you are able to control the machine. Let's go into deeper about the uh, equipment. The filter which we are using on the Mia Air Purifier uh, are the EN1822 certified filters. Uh, it's coated by the antimic solution, antimicrobial solution. This filter is completely the same, which we are providing to the precise industries like pharmaceutical uh, production, semiconductors, or hospitals, even surgery rooms. The filters are fully same. Uh, total filter media area is around eight square meter for each unit. Uh, this is the one of the highest in the market. As an option, we have a 14 class HEPA filter. It's an optional and on H14 class filter, we have 11 square meter total surface area in each unit. Actually, the, this one, H14 with 11 square meter, there is no any equivalent in the market. So I mentioned the antimic solution, uh, which we have impregnated our filters with this solution. What is this antimic? This can be a fair question of yours. Uh, actually, this is a water-based special solution in order to exterminate the microorganisms. Effectiveness level of this antimic is around 99.95-98% uh, against the Legionella bacteria. Uh, this is actually harmless for the human. There is no any bad effect on us. And it has lifetime around one year on the MIA air filter media. So during the one year of use, you are getting the effectiveness level of the antimic solution from MIA. Actually, the antimic solution we were using the previously on the HVAC systems, as the HVAC systems is accumulating the Legionella type bacteria in its uh, own body. So it was effective on the HVAC systems, but recently we have made the tests on the viruses. And we have seen that the efficiency level is also same. Even last week, we have sent same uh, solution, same chemical compound uh, to the test laboratories in order to check with the uh, effectiveness level on the COVID coronavirus. And the first result was extremely good, uh, extremely impressive with 99.9 inactivation ratio. Uh, the real test report is pending. Uh, it will be shared with you if you will request later on. So in short, uh, with the micropores special filtration solution, you will be completely protected uh, with micropores. You will be completely protected with micropores uh, without any doubt. If you have to discuss about the air flow rate, we have used very strong uh, fan on this machine. Actually, there are lots of uh, stronger fans in the market, but from the point of engineering, 
we have mostly focused on the highest airflow, uh, lowest energy consumption, lowest noise level, and longer lifetime, in fact. Uh, so focus, focusing on these factors, uh, we have used a special fan, which has the capacity of 900 cubic meter per hour. And it's also easy electronically controlled fan uh, to use it on the variable speed. And uh, it's able to recirculate the air inside the uh, 100 square meter room in 15 minutes only. So in one room, which has the 100 square meter area, you can circulate the air four times in one hour. So there are also some reports from the CFD analysis for the fan, as much as the blowing capacity is important uh, for the air purifiers, but suction capacity, suction power is also important. As per the CFD test, uh, CFD analysis, we got to know that the MIA air profiler is able to suck the air from the 4.3 meter far away from the device. So wherever you are placed the MIA air, it will suck the air from the uh, further point of the any room. There is a view from the uh, screen on the unit that's fully touch screen LED, uh, LCD, sorry. Uh, from this screen, you can intervent the operation modes and see the important uh, notifications like uh, filter change or Wi Fi connection uh, situation condition. Uh, but most important, you can monitor the real time air quality rate from the screen. From the here, you are able to get the uh, air quality index rate, uh, PM 2.5 rate, or VOC level, you are able to observe. Uh, as you can see, it's not a graph, it's not a uh, assumptional rate. You can see the PM 2.5 or VOC level uh, on the screen as it is, as it has been counted by the uh, sensors. As we are talking about the sensors, uh, we have focused to use on most reliable ones uh, as the sensor was the one of the most important equipment for us to understand the pollution level of, uh, of the area. Uh, so that we have placed the SGP30 uh, sensor in order to check the VOC and the carbon dioxide levels. We have placed the SHT in order to calculate, in order, in order to see the uh, relative humidity and the temperature. And uh, the most importantly, we have used the laser PM 2.5 sensor in order to count the PM levels. You are not counting the only PM 2.5, even we are counting the PM 1 level and PM 10 level as well. So there is a one screen from our uh, MIA Air application. It's completely free from the Apple Store or Android Store, uh, Play Store. We are able to download this on free basis. Uh, from the one single script, uh, you can able to change the modes, operating modes. Even you can take on the manual mode and you can adjust the fan speed as much as you want. Uh, from the indicator area, you are able to see the filter lifetime, the main lifetime or used lifetime, you are able to check. The temperature information is there. The uh, carbon dioxide level, you are able to see. Also the PM levels, PM1, PM2.5, and PM10 levels, you are able to check. The VOC level is here. Also, as well as humidity and temperature, you are able to get the information. And uh, in general, it's giving you the result of the air quality index on this side. So regarding the hardware, uh, as I explained on the main body, uh, we have used the high impact polystyrene which is most effective, which is most reliable, durable against the impact or any damage. Uh, we have filtration housing, filter housing on the both sides, on two sides, on the left and right. Uh, first of all, one is the main door to uh, reach the filter, filter housing. After that, the filter net is there in order to catch the bigger particles on here. It's not a filter actually, it's a net, something like net. We have used the activated carbon filter, granule type, uh, pellet type actually. Uh, you may know that the pellet type. We have used the pellet type filter 
activated carbon filter. And on each set, we have used around 1.9 kilogram of the activated carbon in this uh, filter stage. And as like I said, we have the H13 class HEPA filters with eight square meter area in both in total. Uh, or we have the H14 class optional uh, H14 class optional HEPA filter, which has the 11 square meter area. Also, we have the UV application, UV bulb, UVC. Uh, it's also optional. If you desire, uh, we are providing. The fan is on the top. It's sucking from the sides and blowing to the uh, top. This is the main body. We have the sensors located on here, and the main touch screen unit is also located on here. The certifications which we have for the uh, MIA profile is the VDI 6022 certification, which is the hygienic conformity. This is actually for HEPA class filters, which we have used on that. And you have the CE certifications for the the air purifier and some other certifications like AH, AM, AM certifications, AM certifications is also uh, pending. Hopefully, end of this year, it's all, it will be ready also. Regarding references, uh, in Turkey, for example, in our own market, we have sold over than uh, 500 products in Turkey. To Germany, we are very much popular. Uh, till today, we have sold one 1,200 units and it's still decreasing day by day it's decreasing to spain we have sold 500 units to almost uh, the very far away from turkey to peru we have sold 80 units uruguay 50 units even indonesia we have sold 30 units and you can see the logos of our some of our references on here actually there is a one smoke test video but i'm not sure whether you have the able to see or not. Uh, we have made the smoke test. <laughs> now we are blowing the MIA air is to totally closed. It's not operating now. We have blown the uh, smoke inside the chamber. And on the 25th minutes, 25th second, MIA air is going to be start. To operate now it's started you can see uh, how fast is how rapid is it for to clean the air yeah it's completely cleaned it's completely closed chamber blown by the uh, smoke Now it's completely clean, as you can see. 